Hey guys, Ashley Winter here. Oh, hold on. Hey guys, Ooh. Ashley Winter here. Welcome back to my channel. I actually just finished filming and uploading the vanity behind me, the tour of my vanity. So if you have not watched that yet, go check that video out. But today I am going to be doing a review on some dry shampoo, shamp shampoo, shampoo products that I use. Um, I have a lot. I, um, I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, hopefully, but I have uh, purple ombre. So dry shampoo has been a staple in my beauty routine. I use dry shampoo all the time. I don't wash my hair too frequently and I find that when I don't wash it every day, it grows a lot faster, it keeps a lot of natural oils, and it holds my color a lot better, obviously. So that gets a big thumbs up. And so today I'm going to be reviewing um, this one is Tresemme Fresh Start. This was the first one I've ever actually tried. And then I followed up with a Pantene Dry Shampoo, which I actually got on sale. I think this one was only like $4. So I was like, yes, yeah, score. And then most recently at my local drugstore, I, um, picked up both of these and they are Mark Anthony True Professional and they were buy one, get one free, and they were a little bit more expensive. I think that these ones were somewhere around like $13, but I will talk about the price in this video. I will talk about how I think they work, how they smell, and um, overall just give you my honest opinion of the products. Mm. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Tresemme Fresh Start Refresh and Revive. Um, this product really did the job. I was kind of skeptical about dry shampoo just because I find that I have oily hair, especially at the root. So I wasn't sure if dry shampoo was going to work for me. But um, this one absorbed all of the oil. This one probably smelled the greatest. And I did find that this one with, I have soft black at the dark of my hair, at the root of my hair. And so it's pretty dark. This one did leave a very fine residue. Um, that I felt kind of made my hair, the top of my hair look a little bit flaky. Um, but overall, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this bad boy a 8. This one is a very good product. I love all of Tresemme's products. I use their shampoo. I use, um, their oil at the ends of my hair. And so, anyways, this one was a pretty good one. Okay, moving on to the second dry shampoo that I've tried. Um, just so you know, all of these last me about three to four weeks. Um, this one actually still has quite a bit. Hmm. This one is Pantene and it is called Blowout Extend Dry Shampoo. And it was on sale. I think I already mentioned it was like $4 when I purchased it. And, um... It was on such good sale that I obviously had to try it. This one probably smells better than this one. I think this one smells better, but this one actually left the most residue that I've ever seen in a dry shampoo in my hair. So this one left pretty large white flakes in the top of my black hair, and um, I found that I had to do a lot of brushing out of it, which is common, right, with dry shampoo. You do have to brush it out a lot. Um, so I probably would not repurchase this one. This one just left a little bit too much flakes in my hair. I wasn't super happy with it. I did feel like I had just showered and it smelled so good. Um, but this one was probably not my favorite. So, and that's my little take on the Pantene on a scale of 1 to 10. I would probably give this one a 5. Okay, and lastly, um, I'm going to be talking about the Marc Anthony Second Day Clear Dry Shampoo. Um, I was at my local drugstore, and I saw that these were buy one, get one free, and who doesn't love a great deal, so I picked these up. These were probably the most expensive ones that I have bought so far, um, but I will say that they are worth 
the price. These were $12 each, but I got one for free, so what, like $6 each? And these ones smell fantastic, and they leave absolutely no residue in my hair. Um, and obviously I have black hair, so that's hard to, to find and come by. Um, so this one, Mark Anthony, second day, dry shampoo is probably my favorite. It's my most recent purchase, and it has worked wonderfully in my hair. It makes me feel like I'm fresh, and my hair is clean and looking fabulous. And um, can we just take a moment to appreciate this packaging? This is by far, out of all the products that I'm reviewing today, the cutest packaging. And as a graphic designer, I, um, I can really appreciate good packaging product. And obviously when you're going to the store and there's five billion things to pick from, you're going to pick the one with the best packaging. So on a scale of one to 10, Mark Anthony and their beautiful packaging are getting a 10 from me today. And um, that would be because they work fantastically. I'm super happy with this product. I have turned into a dry shampoo snob and these work phenomenal. And um, hello, they're so cute. I just wanna put one like in my purse to go because it's so adorable. So yes, Mark Anthony gets a 10 all the way around. Packaging, product, usage, everything. Fabulous, these are great. Okay guys, so that concludes my little review of some of the dry shampoos that I've tried out recently and my most recent dry shampoo by Marc Anthony. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I've actually noticed that quite a few um, beauty bloggers and vloggers are using um, Not Your Mother's dry shampoos and hairsprays. If you're using those, I wanna try those next. Leave me a comment below, tell me how they work or what your favorite dry shampoo is. I would love to try others. Maybe I'll do some ordering. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see other product reviews, let me know and I'd be happy to film them. All right guys, see you later.